I want to float like a bird, slow and low. Won't follow the river wherever it goes. I want the wheels of time to jump the track. I want to leave all my troubles and not go back. I want to close my eyes and forget my sorrows. I don't care if the devil takes tomorrow. Our time in the Chilcotin has unfortunately come to an end this season, but I really wanted one more day on Chilco Lake, so we pushed it to the northern end. We're gonna get out and do a little bit of exploring, hopefully a little fishing, and a whole lot of just enjoying this beautiful lake. I wanna sleep under the stars and fade away. Let the wind take my memories down the highway. I want to find Look at that boat killer. Music, find the Just lurking. Help me dance away the heartache in the moonlight. Trouble in the schoolyard. The fact that I never catch a fish has turned into quite the joke on this channel. Maybe the joke that offends me the most probably because it's true. I've been fly fishing my whole life in a very amateur fashion. This year I'm trying to learn it a little bit better. We'll see if it pays off. Fishing an egg sucking leech. Wish me luck. I want to flow like a bird slow and low. I want to follow the river wherever it goes. Beautiful little rainbow. Well, here comes the wind. Might be the end of our beautiful day. <laughs> wow, that happened quickly. It's white capping already ahead of us. Look at that avalanche path. I was hoping for a full day on the water, but it doesn't really matter how much you plan and prepare. Mother Nature has the final call, and the winds of Chilco are pushing us out once again. I think I have a great plan B. I've been told about a road that used to connect the northern point of Chilco Lake to the center axis of the lake. I don't know how old this road is because it's not even in my back roads map book for the first time ever. We can't go north until I receive my mail, and my mail is not scheduled to be delivered for another three days. So we have three days to find a road, fix a road, or build a road. It's gonna be awesome. percentage of this is in the map book all the way to Tasunia Lake. From the tip of Tasunia we'll be freestyling and it looks like there is a mountain in the way so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. sure if the locals have a name for this but I'm calling it the forgotten road and I think I'm officially on it. A little bit bumpy otherwise not so bad. I was able to find three people that knew of the existence of this road. One of them told me I shouldn't take it because I'm gonna be too high. I know for a fact there's no such thing as too high. 
the branches are too low. <laughs> about a vacation route. Truck's just tanking along in first gear. Haven't had to chop a single tree yet. Pretty windy out here. But I have to show you guys the views. Unbelievable. Well, let's keep trucking. A good percentage of our back roads here in BC were built for logging. So when you're cruising along, you're going through second or maybe third growth forest. As far as I know, this is all old growth and there's some great big trees in here. It's a neat experience to get to drive through and see that. Have you ever heard a voice that sounds like an old friend? Takes you right back to the kitchen. Have you ever laid on your back under a poplar tree, thinking about all your memories, looking at the sky, wondering why this feels like home? Like a Tennessee River in the morning takes your breath without a warning. Feels like home. Like smoke rising up from the mountains, all the beauty surrounds. Feels like home. Like Elvis and Dolly singing a melody that's been home. Cause it feels like home. Look at that. Like Absolutely home. gorgeous. Both sides. From what I can tell on the map, I think that lake is called Little Lagoon. It's right on the edge of Chilco Lake. So I'm guessing we'll be taking the shoreline the rest of the way. No way to know for sure, because there's no road on this map, but that makes the most sense. But if the road goes over the mountain, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Been staring up at the starlight, getting pretty close to midnight. Sounds just like the wind singing your name. Feels like home. Like a Tennessee River in the morning takes your breath without a Feels home. like home. Chilco Lake, off to our right, absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't say we're close, but closer than we were. Feels like home. Feels like home. Feels like. I almost missed it entirely. Look at this old fence. If I didn't look out the other window, I would have missed it. Look at that, the hinge is the root and then a notch up there. That's pretty cool. Not doing so good. Wow. 
The old girl's trucking along nicely. It was almost 10 o'clock in the evening by the time we made it through yesterday, but I'm happy to say the forgotten road is forgotten no longer. So get at me Backroads Map Book. I think we should name that bad boy. And I think we should stick with the forgotten road. Nevertheless, we're here now two days early. I think it's a blessing in disguise because I've taken a look around the rig and it needs some attention. We have five broken lights, one ripped off roof rack, Oh man. And one broken e-bike. All of that needs to be solved before we officially head north. So today's the day we're making her back home. Growing up in the Caribou, the Chilcotin has always been my backyard. And for that reason, I've kind of discounted it as a viable avenue for adventures on the channel. But this has actually been my strongest start to a travel season yet. So I want to give a great big thank you to everyone that's made this possible. Thank you to all the viewers for enjoying the show. Big thank you to all of the patrons for supporting the show. And a special thank you to the Honey Coutin First Nations. All these adventures in the Chilcotin, I had to get special permission to access and film on that land, and I was welcomed in with open arms. It's been a tremendous pleasure getting to share my backyard with all of you, but I am very much looking forward to heading north. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, and I'll catch you in the north. <laughs>